No, I mean, I think that's a, an absurd suggestion, frankly, that, um, that you should stop the project which is the most far advanced, um, which has the only reactor design that's been completely through the generic design assessment process, the, the robust process that our regulator, the ONR, uh, undertakes there. But it's wrong also to characterise Hinkley as being the only part of the new build programme. There are two other significant projects. They are um, uh, in the final stage, the fourth stage of the GDA process, but they've got some time to go to to complete that process and then to get up to the point at which um, EDFR and, and Hinkley has got to. But we have a pressing need for new capacity in this country. There's no getting away from the fact that with the amount of capacity that's gone offline, and our, our commitments, which are absolutely the right commitments, I believe, both domestically and commitments which will soon be uh, enshrined internationally following on from, um, from the discussions and, and the agreement at Paris, that we need to have uh, a mix for the future that is as low carbon and secure as possible. We need to do that through a range of technologies. Nuclear is and will continue to be a significant part of that for the future, not just in the UK, but around the world. And we need to, a combination of that need and also our situation um, and we can you can go back into the history of this and, and argue about decisions that were made at various points as to why we've got to a point where we've got so much of our uh, capacity going off at a, in, a, in a similar time frame um, but because of those two things we absolutely need to uh, need to get on with it.